Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. Pipe on the Patio. I just wanted to uh, <clears throat> do one more video here before I, I go. And uh, I'm smoking my, my Dominique signature pipe. I don't know anything about this pipe. I got it from a buddy of mine. Man, it is just a wonderful smoking pipe oh, this is fast becoming my favorite pipe it feels good in my hands I love the the look of it the feel of it it just feels good in my hand I got big old sausage hands so it's feels good um, I'm smoking lane one Q I am all about lane one Q right now uh, I love that. That may be my favorite tobacco right now. Maybe my permanent tobacco for now, from now on. Till I try some other stuff. <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys, who was the first person in your life that you uh, saw smoking a pipe? You know, was there like a a family member or friend or something. For me, it was my grandpa Flanagan. Uh, I remember being a kid and he had a he had a stand, it was a, uh, like an ashtray stand type thing. And he had his pipes on it, a couple of pipes on there and some a little cup had some matches in it and he just you know, liked the matches and his pipes always smelled so good oh man and I don't know what he was smoking I wish I knew what it was he was smoking I, I think I re seem to remember it being uh, either Sir Walter Raleigh or, or um, Captain Black I mean that was but he I was being I was a little kid not a little kid but I was 12, 13, I spent the summer at his house one year. We'd sit and watch baseball games and he'd pull out that pipe and start smoking and it was like, man, that is just the nicest smell. And so everybody else in my family smoked cigarettes back then and he smoked the pipe and boy, did it smell good. Oh, man. I... I'd give anything to have one of his pipes. I mean, I'd have give all the other pipes I have, I'd give to have one of his pipes. So who was it in your life, you know, that was the first person that you saw and what made you want to start smoking a pipe? For me, it was Grandpa Flanagan. I just wanted to... It reminded me of him. He passed away in 1985. And in 1994, my wife bought me a pipe. I don't even know how that came about. Um, I think I had probably had had a pipe that I got from somebody, and some Captain Black, and, and she brought me that Meerschaum, the Eagle Claw Meerschaum, and that was that was it. That, that started it all. But I never went full on pipe collecting, you know. Today I have eight pipes that I, I keep in rotation that I, I, that's all I smoke with are the eight pipes. Um, I got some used corn cobs the other day, but I don't know that any of those are going to be worth smoking, so I got enough to rotate through a week and uh, that's 
I'm good with that. Okay. And this lane one Q. Thank Aristocob for talking about Lane One Q because that's the one I that's the reason I went out and got some was because he talked that that was all he smoked and it was a nice aromatic blend and I was always into aromatics. I get no tongue bite from this man. Now the truce the truce that I smoked earlier today was biting pretty good so. That one I'm probably gonna let sit for a while and before I try that again. But this stuff here, here no bite at all. I'm gonna order more of this. fun time with this video stuff man this this YouTube pipe community is a, an amazing community every day I meet someone new and they're just so nice and friendly and, and encouraging and uh, Kevin Twiner tweener Twiner I think it's Twiner great guy great um, very encouraging to me uh, Jeff the chef is another one Jeff your package will be coming out this week man So anyway, I just wanted to uh, do a short video here. It's actually seven minutes, almost eight minutes long already. I just asked you guys, who was it that, who was the first person in your life that you saw smoking a pipe? and Or who got you into smoking a pipe? So, I just remember my grandpa Flanagan, he was such a mellow, laid-back, easy-going guy. I never saw him angry. I never saw him mad, ever in my entire life. I never saw him mad. No. He was so just a very kind man. And, uh, I, I hope to be like him. And uh, he's a good man. All right, guys. So I'll catch you guys later. Keep looking up. God bless each and every one of you guys. Good night.